Hello, and welcome to another video. This is part one of a series of at-home workouts designed to maintain our personal fitness as well as possibly improve our strength with the goal of, at the end of this current situation that we're in, that we'll still be able to perform well in our fitness assessments. I'm John, and my goal for this series is to help create something that might assist my fellow airmen in being able to maintain a level of wellness during this situation that we're currently in while performing things at home with minimal or no exercise equipment required. I did decide to create a, a sandbag yoke. Uh, put that together yesterday, and I'll roll some, some footage of that uh, as far as creating that using... Uh, paper sand, Ziploc bags, trash bags, and duct tape. Gyms are closed. Still want to get some resistance training in. I've got a couple of ideas that I want to test out. So we're going to take a quick stop here at Lowe's. So we grabbed some heavy duty three mil garbage bags, some paper sand, duct tape, two different colors just for funsies and we're going to use our bathroom scale to create some sandbags what we're going to do is we're going to fill these bags we're going to use this little cup scoop it out put it on the scale weigh it out so we can try and get some sort of system for creating a training yoke that's a dedicated number, a dedicated weight. I figure we'll probably try and go with maybe, well, we'll just fill this up and see how heavy one full bag is. Weigh yourself, 176.6, and now we weigh it with us, so, 180.2. So 4.8. So 4 8. 4 .8 pounds, so I figure each quart size bag is about four pounds. So we'll just fill up bags, give ourselves about a 20 pound yoke that we can use. All right, we have our four bags of sand at roughly, calling them five pounds a piece. It's a pretty rudimentary measurements, but uh, that's what we're gonna call it. I don't think it really matters that much at this stage of the game. We just want to make something. Open up this giant bag. But big bags. So when we clean up the yard later on, we can still use those. So kind of dual purpose everything. The idea I had was to put these in, not all the way to the bottom. putting them in, in line with each other. Leaving a little bit of space in the top and the bottom so that we can craft a sort of a handle. So, now I'm gonna use my helper here. We're gonna grab each of these and kind of roll it up. Now we have this. Probably should have wiped off the tailgate before we started, but that's okay. We're just going to wrap this all in duct tape anyway. So what I'm going to do first is put a couple of markers.
now we have a, a 20 pound weight with handles so you can use it for curling overhead press throw it on your back you know squats that sort of thing so probably make a couple more that are a little bit bigger and uh, we'll use this to indicate what each one weighs so um, yeah that's uh, an idea we had we'll test it out and see how it works uh, here on one of our next workouts in part one of this series I'm gonna go over day one of the program my goal is to create a pattern of push-pull legs push-pull legs and then the seventh day a mock fitness assessment Thing that you can do on your own uh, just throughout your neighborhood a matter of mapping out a 1.5 mile distance so day one's workout is a push workout it's gonna be a chest focus so um, naturally at home there'll be a lot of push-ups so let's get changed and ready for the gym all right head downstairs start doing some push-ups so the first exercise for today's workout is the standard push-up I'm gonna do three different variables the first one will be a modified version uh, for more for a beginner the second will be a standard push-up the third will be a plyo push-up that one's kind of interesting so stay tuned for that one so get into push-up position you want your hands to be right about shoulder width apart and staying on your knees perform the push-up that's the first variable of the push-up the second is the standard push-up making sure that you go all the way down and all the way up the third is the plyo push-up this one you're going to stagger your hands one above the other you're going to press up with enough force that your hands come off the floor and you can trade their position do that each time so starting with a staggered position staggered hand position press down you'll do each of these three sets of either 20 reps or failure whichever comes first do the method that is most appropriate for your skill level the next exercise is the pike press up which I'll show you a couple of versions of that uh, this one is designed to really incorporate more of your shoulders during the exercise so I'll use this here the first one is the modified version so placing your feet your knees up onto the elevated platform and you want to Get your body in an inverted position, lower yourself down, press up. The advanced version is with your feet on the on the platform, trying to keep your body in an elevated position so that you can really focus on mirroring that military press. The third exercise is a tricep extension into a push-up. This one you're going to start in a, in a plank. You'll press yourself up into a push-up, back down. Press up, push-up, back down. This is going to recruit your triceps into the exercise. And by keeping your arms very close to your body will help with the triceps as well as the, the pectorals. The fourth exercise for today are diamond push-ups. It's a little bit different where you're going to almost mirror that pike press up, but you'll put your hands in a diamond pattern on the floor elevating your hips a little higher than usual 
pressing your, allowing yourself to lower down and pressing up. This will actually recruit a little bit more of your shoulders as well as your chest and your triceps into this exercise. The next exercise is the reverse grip push-up. This one is a little bit more advanced, so if you can't quite do this one yet, that's okay, but it's something to work towards. You'll get into position with your hands in a reverse grip, press down and press up. Like I said, that one is a little bit more advanced, so if you can't do that one, that's okay. You can definitely work towards it. But that one will recruit a little bit more of your front shoulders into the exercise as well. The final exercise for today's workout are chair dips, or bench dips, as it's more commonly known in the gym. You're gonna use two pieces of equipment. You'll line yourself up on, on one, I like to use my, my hands more in a neutral grip as opposed to straight on for, for this exercise. Put your feet on something, or if you need to, you can just keep them on the floor. Lower yourself down and press up. With this type of uh, at-home workout, not having a lot of resistance. The idea is to slow down the exercises, really focus on the form, because right now we don't have any weight or resistance to help counterbalance that. So if you focus on your form, doing the exercise quite a bit slower, you can really recruit the negative aspect of the exercise to really add that extra pump and burn throughout the day. Okay, so today's workout is done. Uh, Definitely need to get in some post-workout protein. Today I'm gonna to use some impact whey isolate from my protein. This is one of my favorites. Um, I do like how easily this one mixes in the shaker bottles. Uh, this shaker bottle happens to have one of those uh, filter funnels that breaks up the clumps. And I usually just use water with my protein post-workout protein shakes so like I said it doesn't take much to mix this up uh, it does mix up quite well and if you're interested I do have a, a code in the I'll put it in the description down below where you can go in and get uh, a discount on some my protein if you're interested in trying out something new Pretty good stuff. This one is uh, salted caramel. It's one of my favorite flavors, so I try and test out any caramel flavors from different brands. It's my way of gauging how good they're going to be. Like I said, this is part one of a series. I do plan on posting out um, daily over the next couple of days different workouts, so stay tuned for tomorrow where we work on the pull version of this at-home workout. And uh, Together we can do this, we can get through and, and hopefully get back into the gym once everything settles down. One thing I didn't show you this morning, um, first thing every morning, I try to get out, especially the last couple of days, and do a jog through the neighborhood. I do have a route mapped out that turns out from my house around a couple of blocks is 1.9 miles. And I do test out, kind of watch for that mile and a half marker just to get a good gauge on how fast I'm running. So that when I take my fitness assessment, hopefully next month, we'll be able to pass it with flying colors. Uh, like I said, you'll want to map it out. Uh, there's a couple of ways to do it. I know that on Google Maps, you can map out a distance uh, using the sidewalks, which is one way that I uh, mapped out kind of that rudimentary course was using Google Maps from my house around a couple of blocks, trying to find that, that happy medium, so to speak, of, you know, where my run should go. Uh, so I would recommend doing that, you know, find your neighborhood, find where you're gonna run, 
using Google Maps, me measure out the distance through different markers. I think that's it for today. So stay tuned for tomorrow. We'll get another pull workout in tomorrow. It'll be a little bit different. We might have to utilize a few more parts of the house in order to get that figured out. I also will add weight in a backpack, whether it's just throwing some books in there or if you've got dumbbells lying around the house, that sort of thing. You can use that to add a little bit of resistance for the pull workouts. So we'll do that tomorrow. So stay tuned and let's see if we can get through this together. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button and hit the bell for notifications. Uh, that part is critical because it will let you know when that next workout is published. If you liked this video, click on the like for me. Uh, d definitely does help out quite a bit. I'll do that and we will catch you guys next time. Okay, the next exercise is one that I forgot. <laughs>